uh, my name is Lolit. Uh, this will be a short tutorial on how to use uh, Meta Spark AR to uh, Spark AR Studio. So let's open up uh, Spark AR Studio. And let's open up a blank project. Yeah. So this tutorial will focus on how to use LUTs on on our filters using Spark AR. Okay. Let's maximize this. Let's increase the size of this output. And we are going to import some LUTs. We have LUTs available in AR library so we can import it to the assets panel using AR library consider this assets, uh, assets panel as uh, some sort of place where we st store our raw materials that we are going to use to make the filter so right now we don't have any raw material so we cannot create any filter so in order to import that click on AR library here at the bottom we have color LUTs so we have multiple LUTs available in the library so uh, I want to create a filter winter is coming up so I want to create a filter uh, giving the vibe of winter so what I'm looking for is a LUT with the name of blue so click here and import for free and that's done <coughs> excuse me and go back here so we want to have an option to pick between different filters so I like this cool fit import go back let's select another one like this one so what I'm importing is filters that are giving a buy for winter okay that's done okay we can now close it so now we have the LUTs here. If you click here, you can see a preview of the LUTs. So LUTs in Spark AR is a row, it's a table, which contains 32 squares and one row. This, okay, every LUTs, if you see the preview here, 32 squares and one row all three of this right so when we apply it to our when you use it in our filter it will apply it will give a color gradient effect so if we right click on this LUT click on action and apply it to camera so we can see the effect immediately that's all there is so we are applying this blue LUT on our effect right so that's done it's simple as that now if we want to apply uh, if we want to have an option to apply multiple LUTs to our filter and we want to have an option to pick between multiple filters we can do that using a patch called uh, UI picker okay so here we have the option to use only one LUT so if you want to use all three of this and go to one by one then we need that UI picker so first let's go let's go once so we can select multiple and then Break it down. Okay. So we have here. Okay. 
So we can sell it multiple items. Okay. So let's go through each one of the batch. So this is the output. If we disconnect, there'll be no signal to the output. So this is output, the final result, and this is a a patch called color lightsaber. So consider it as a mixture. So this will mix the texture coming from the camera. This will mix the texture coming from the camera and the LUT. Okay. So the texture coming from the camera is applied to this LUT through the scene render pass. Okay. So the texture, so texture, camera texture is the feed that is coming from the camera. This represents the feed that is coming from your camera. Okay. And this represents the device. So it's creating uh, this represent the device producer patch okay and this object is applied to the scene object and the output rendered using the camera and the device is supplied to the texture the color LUT saber and then the LUT is applied to the color LUT okay that's done okay if you want to apply just one uh, uh, if you want to apply just one LUT, that's all there is. But if you want an option to select between multiple LUTs, you can do that using the help of UI Picker. So right click on the patch editor and type UI. Let's pick a UI like that and add that. So here. So UI picker, we will click here. This will enable the option to. This will make this UI picker visible on the screen. Okay, so here we have the option to supply textures. We have the option to supply textures. So here. We will supply the LUTs. The first texture is blue, the second texture is cool fade, the third texture is Sira. Right? So the texture has been supplied. So since we have already uh, supplied the blue tech uh, blue LUT here, we can remove this one now. So the shader it no longer has uh, no longer has the LUT so let me why not so it has two outputs an output giving supplying texture and output supply number index so now we need the texture so connect the texture output to the color LUT it comes up here okay so now if we click on the visibility icon So if we click here, we have the option to pick the LUTs. The changes are slight, but that's my intention. Uh, so I just want to have uh, a patch. Uh, I just want to have a color, slight color gradient difference. So if you are looking for a patch where you want to see only a slight difference in the uh, color okay so if you see here the icons are all the same so you'll not be able to identify which icon does what so we, we just have to click here and then test it out right <coughs> so if you want to supply a texture for the icons then we have to use another patch so one will handle the texture of the icons and one will handle the texture. One will handle the texture of the icon and one will handle uh, the LUTs, right? So let's, so we have another patch called option picker. Click here, see this. So we will 
use this option picker to handle texture we can change the type of data here so you see this uh, the bottom now the data it handles is number so we want to handle texture so we'll use this option picker to handle texture so for option so just to handle texture so we will supply the LUTs here so we are going to use option picker to handle the LUTs so let's disconnect it for now so now we'll use it here right so if you click here nothing happens so this on this UI picker it no longer works right so if you see the option here so right now if you select 0 selecting the first option if you select 2 you'll see a slight change it will select the second option and you see the change right you will select 1 and by the way the counting starts from 0 so if you select 0 and hit enter it will change if you select the first texture if you select 1 and hit enter it will select second uh, second texture which is color fade if you type 2 and hit enter it will select 0 and apply so we don't want to manually manually enter the numbers so we are going to get the numbers from the picker ui that's where this option selected option index comes in right so the numbers will be coming in from this ui picker so now we want this U picker ui to handle the texture of this icon so we have to supply the ui picker with additional texture so i have i have downloaded some textures so let's import it okay so let's move it slightly to the left and let's go to my finder download the left texture let's import this import in that manner so just minimize this okay so we have imported So we'll use this texture one two and three for the icons and one thing to note here is that we have to uncompress that you if you see at the inspector panel here select the texture and if you see this compression the compression should be set to none okay so I don't want to do it individually so select the three uh, texture select this drop down and this to none so this will make the compression to none so there will be no compression of the texture okay now we have that so we'll change the texture for the uh, icons so we'll have so blue so I want this to be the very cold one so winter and then cool fit will be autumn and then this spring will be zero okay. so now we have the texture for the icons 
you can see the changes here the first option icon has changed but when you click on the icons no changes are affected because there is no connection between the picker UI and the option picker so now this earlier we use this texture output but now we are no longer going to use the texture we are going to use the index because this is asking for a number right so we want when you click winter we want it corresponding to blue when you click autumn we want it corresponding to color so can I get here so let's see now if this options work you click on the winter so let's maximize this you click here you click here you click here you can see the changes right so this we this is how we use LUTs in our filter that's all there is so as a recap LUT is a table of RGB value it is used to create color graded effects and then this LUTs are available especially for uh, Meta Spark AI. we use LUTs with 32 squares and one row okay and yeah so this will wrap up our tutorial regarding LUTs in Spark AI. Thank you.